If any of you have watched The Bear and are clothing obsessed like me, the first thing you probably noticed is Kami's plain white t-shirt. Despite being the most basic of pieces, the t-shirt he wears in the kitchen just looks so stylish and well fitting on him. Fans of the show went crazy for it and there are countless articles and reddit posts talking about Kami's t-shirt. Someone actually reached out to the show to find out exactly what t-shirt it was and Christina Spiridakis, who was a costume designer for The Bear, confirmed that it's the Mers B. Schwanen 215 Loop Wheel t-shirt. This was later solidified by Mers B themselves and is now part of their advertisement for the t-shirt on their website. So out of pure curiosity, I purchased the t-shirt and in today's video, I'm gonna go through all the details, show you what it looks like on body and let you know if I think it's worth picking up. The first thing you need to know is that this is a genuine loop wheel t-shirt. Loop wheeling is done on 100 year old machines that knit in a circle, stacking layer upon layer of cotton into a giant cylinder. That cylinder becomes the body of the t-shirt, so manufacturers need different machines to produce fabric for each size of t-shirt. The machines are also incredibly slow. Most of them can perform only 24 rotations per minute which adds up to around one meter of fabric per hour. However, this slow pace means that the machines place no tension on the cotton yarns as they knit, which creates a softer and denser fabric than regular t-shirts. Now, according to people who know a lot more about fabric than I do, the benefits of this type of loop wheel construction are as follows. Loop wheel t-shirts hold their form, unlike regular t-shirts that can become misshapen after a few washes. They fit the body more naturally thanks to the tubular construction, which follows the contours of the body better. They're very durable because higher quality materials are generally used, plus the slower construction process creates a dense fabric all of which leads to a longer lasting product. The crazy thing is though, there are only two, yes two, factories left in the world that are creating loop wheel garments. One is in Japan's Wakayama prefecture and the other is Mersby Schwanen in Germany. I won't go into it here, but there's a really cool story about how the Mersby factory came back into service so look it up if you're interested. But anyway, hearing all this, if you watch The Bear, you'll understand why Kami would wear a t-shirt like this. In one of the first scenes, we see him selling vintage salvage denim. He's clearly very knowledgeable and attached to the pieces he has. Christina Spiridakis said these choices are meant to reflect Kami's sense of perfectionism. As Kami is a person that appreciates quality and classics, items that last, that aren't fussy or trendy, things created with a respect for the item itself. But after hearing all this, you've probably already guessed, these t-shirts do not come cheap. They retail for around 70 pounds in the UK, and I believe around $100 in the US. So the question is, are they worth it? Although Kami's t-shirt is plain white in the show, I picked it up in a black and white stripe pattern because I've got plenty of white t-shirts and I wanted something a bit different in my rotation. It arrived well presented in a cardboard box, which also contains lots of useful information about the company itself, how the t-shirts are constructed, and how to care for them. The thing you notice immediately when you take the t-shirt out is the thickness and weight of it, which makes it feel really sturdy. This is an 8.6 ounce cotton, which is pretty heavyweight. You can see and feel every single thread. It's an incredibly tactile t-shirt with a lot of texture. The stitching is also immaculate. It has a thick collar and a gusset at the armpit to help with comfort and longevity. You can tell this is a lovingly crafted piece with a lot of attention to detail. They say that the t-shirt will shrink after the first wash and suggest sizing up. I was a little reluctant to do this because I wanted a slim fit and I'm usually a size small. So I bought both a small and medium and I'm glad I did because the small was way too tight on me even before it had been washed. So I kept the medium and here's what it looked like before being washed. For reference, I'm 5 foot 10, around 140 pounds. It was a little loose around the arms and chest, as I expected. My main concern though was the length. If you look at all the photos online, as well as on Kami in the show, it seems cropped in length. But accounting for shrinkage, I was confident it would fit me well. So after wearing it for a full day, I washed it at 20 degrees and left it to air dry in the sun. And this is what it looked like after the first wash. Definitely shrank and I could immediately feel it was tighter around the chest and arms, 
which made me happy. This also confirmed that a small would have been way too tight on me after washing. I took before and after measurements of the shoulder to hem length, pit to pit width, sleeve length, sleeve width, and collar width. I put them all in a table and I'll leave this up as I continue to talk. The biggest shrinkage was in the shoulder to hem length and pit to pit width of about half an inch. I'm happy with the tightness of it now, but I'm still a bit on the fence about the shoulder to hem length. Again, looking at the t-shirt on Kami, it seems way more cropped on him and falls to around his waistline. Jeremy Allen White is apparently five foot seven in real life, so he's actually shorter than me. And there is no way he's wearing a small, it must be at least a medium or even a large. So I'm a bit confused how the length of his looks shorter than mine. The only things I can think are one, he must be wearing his trousers really low around his hips to give the illusion that his torso is longer. Two, he's quite stocky, so perhaps the width of his body is causing the t-shirt to stretch and ride up a little bit. Or three, the costume designers have customized the length to fit his body perfectly, which is very likely to be honest. I can still wear the t-shirt tucked in, but I was really hoping it would be more cropped in length so I could wear it untucked. Now, I do also have a little bit of bonus footage for you. I picked up a second t-shirt from Mers B, the 2S14. This is a slub structure 14 ounce loop wheel t-shirt, and they say it's probably the heaviest loop wheel t-shirt in the world. It's also advertised as having a vintage boxy fit. It was a whopping 109 pounds, but I had to see for myself what all the fuss was about. I got it in the nature colorway, which is a kind of off-white beige. And when I opened the box, you could see that slubby texture straight away. And yes, picking it up, you can feel the crazy weight of it. It had that same density of a 215, but way more textured, almost a ripple feel to it. They only had a size medium, so that's what I went for. Unfortunately though, I hated the fit of it. To me, boxy means the length and width are similar, but this didn't seem to be the case here at all. It was wide and long in length. The collar and sleeves were really loose, and I could tell that even after a wash, this wouldn't fit me well. It's possible that a small would have been better, but as I said, they didn't have it in stock, unfortunately. I'm also not fussed on the 14 ounce weight at all. It just feels like you're wearing a short sleeve sweater. Believe me, the 8.6 ounce of the 215 is more than enough. So let's talk about whether I think these t-shirts are worth it. As you've just heard, the 2S14 is definitely not for me. The fit doesn't look good and the weight is not practical in my opinion. It's definitely high quality and well made, but with the heavy price tag of £109, I'm avoiding this one. However, the main piece of this video, Kami's 215 t-shirt, is a different story. It's without a doubt the highest quality t-shirt I've ever owned. The construction is on another level compared to my regular t-shirts, and the cotton is just so thick and sturdy. I'm obviously disappointed it didn't shrink as much as they said it would, which was about one to two inches. It might continue to shrink after another wash or two, but I really don't want to force it. So at £70, I'd say this is about the most I'd ever want to spend on a plain t-shirt, but I do think this one is worth it. Compared to other loop wheel t-shirts, this one from Mers B is actually on the cheaper side. And when you consider the heritage, complexity, and rarity of the loop wheel t-shirt, it kind of feels like you're purchasing a piece of history. Some of the loop wheel machines are over 100 years old now, and as far as I'm aware, they're not making new ones. They're not gonna last forever, so once they stop working, you might not be able to get these exact t-shirts ever again. There are modern tubular knit t-shirts that try to replicate the loop wheel design, but they'll never be the same. Taking all of this into consideration, and if it lasts as long as people say, then my price per wear is gonna be minimal and it's gonna be well worth it. But that's just my opinion. I'd love to know if any of you own these t-shirts and what you think about them. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ta-ra.